This is a train, a digital train, which will soon be part of our everyday lives. Just like our smartphones, it will have many different applications, such as for managing the movement of trains in the most optimized way, for automating its operation, for offering new services to passengers, for very precisely monitoring the transport of goods, and for better managing equipment and even infrastructure maintenance. Each of these applications will enhance the railway system's performance as part of the goal to make trains more attractive to use. But for this to work, a telecommunication system capable of maintaining large data flows is needed. Enter the future Railway Mobile Communication System, or FRMCS. FRMCS is a so-called enabler, making the digital train and all of its new uses possible. FRMCS will carry out all of the operational tasks of GSMR, the current railway telecommunication system. GSMR is currently used on 130,000 kilometers of track in Europe and 210,000 kilometers worldwide. However, it is unable to regulate the digital train's data flows and will be obsolete from 2035. In order to develop FRMCS, UIC has brought together the main stakeholders from the railway and communications sectors. The project is currently running on schedule. In 2020, after intense UIC-led promotion, the European Union allocated two harmonized frequencies to FRMCS for Europe in 1900 MHz and 900 MHz. These two frequencies will allow FRMCS to work across all of Europe. At the beginning of 2023, the first FRMCS specifications were approved by the European Union Agency for Railways. They have been integrated into the technical specification for interoperability relating to the control command and signaling subsystems and voted on by the European Commission's member states. This provides the railways with a legal anchor for future migration to FRMCS. The 5G Rail project, co-funded by the European Union, has created the first FRMCS ecosystem. The first hardware and software prototypes, based on FRMCS V1, are now being tested in the field. Finally, FRMCS is now also part of Europe's Rail Joint Undertaking program. This means that future versions of the FRMCS specifications will be strategically aligned with any European rail system developments. This should allow the FRMCS system to be approved through testing in the Moran 2 project and then brought to market. At the same time, UIC is working with its regions on the development of FRMCS outside of Europe by building on the project's achievements. FRMCS is expected to be launched at the end of 2026. GSMR can then begin to be migrated to FRMCS, which will pave the way for digital trains. It will also allow rail to become the ever more efficient backbone of sustainable mobility. FRMCS is coming. Are you ready?